Hello, I'm Dr. Tatsuya Sato from the Department of Gastroenterology, the University of Tokyo. I'm very happy to have this great opportunity to introduce our article on behalf of our co-authors. The title of this study is ELCP using balloon-assisted endoscope versus US-guided treatment for common bile duct stones in Lewy gastrectomy, which was recently published in GI Endoscopy. This is a multi-center retrospective study accumulating data on over 600 patients from 16 tertiary care centers in Japan and comparing balloon-assisted enteroscopy-guided retrograde stone removal versus ES-guided antiglade stone removal for patients with gastrectomy and Lewy GI reconstruction. Endoscopic removal of bile duct stones in patients with surgically altered anatomies is still challenging. Among various types of surgery and GI reconstructions, distal gastrectomy or total gastrectomy with Lewy reconstruction is a popular method, especially for patients with gastric cancer. However, common bile duct stones in patients after gastrectomy and Lewy reconstruction is one of the most difficult situations for endoscopic treatment of pancreatobiliary diseases. Recently, we have two modalities to deal with biliary stones in surgically altered anatomies. One is balloon endoscope assisted ELCP, and the other is use guided antigrade treatment. In the last decade, safety and effectiveness of these advanced endoscopic procedures have been reported, but most reports were single arm study without a control group. This is why we plan to conduct this multi center comparative study. Next, we briefly introduce our results and show what is new in this study. And so this is a result of our studies shown as figure three in the article. We enrolled 588 cases of BELCP and 59 cases of BUSAG. As shown in this figure, the technical success and complete stone removal rates were not significantly different between two groups. The procedure time was longer in BELCP than USAG on the other hand, the number of endoscopic sessions was smaller in BELCP. Adverse event rate was also not different between groups. So when we look at patients with technical success, uh, once biliary access was achieved, complete stone removal was successful in more cases of the BELCP group. Probably this is due to the availability of multiple stone extraction devices in recent balloon, endosco balloon endoscopes. We examine the predictive factors co for complete stone removal in each group. Complete stone removal by e BEELCP was difficult in CBD diameter um, of 15 mm or larger and an angle of CBD less than 90 degree. In EUSAG, a stone size of 10 mm or larger and an angle of CBD less than 90 degree was, were negative predict factors for complete stone removal in USAG. All these comparative data are new findings that has not been examined before, and we believe this article shows the milestone result in this field. Given our study results, we can propose the algorithm for treatment selection. Uh, if the intrahepatic bile duct dilated sufficiently, then USAG can be a first line treatment modality. In cases where a stone size is more than 10 mm, BELCP can benefit the patients as most stone removal devices are available. A steep CBD angle is unfavorable for both BELCP and USAG, therefore, percutaneous transhepatic stone removal or surgical treatments might be considered as an alternative modality. Uh, last but not least, local expertise is an also essential factor in selecting treatment approaches. So what should come next? Despite large sample size, our study is limited by its retrospective design 
and our study should be further confirmed in a prospective randomized controlled trial, which is now ongoing in Japan. We hope this randomized controlled trial will provide additional valuable evidence. In conclusion, BELCP and USAG showed similar performance in CBD stone removal for patients after lower gastrectomy. Finally, we greatly appreciate all the co-investigators for their variable contributions to this study. This is the last of this interview. Thank you for your kind attention.